welcome to Hope of Glory Ministries. I'm Pastor Sandra Campbell. You know, I can't believe it's that time of year again. Time for our children to return to school. So let's keep them lifted. My son Owen is a graduating senior. He's excited about this year. But I'm excited about seeing him walk across that stage and move to the next level in life. I would like to speak to you from the subject, faith walking, an outer boat experience. You know, we kind of hit on this, but in the history of God's people, we all started out in the same boat called an ark, just drifting. Well, I have found that many of us are in that same place again in life, just drifting. We're unhappy. We're unproductive because we've fallen short of realizing the vision that God had for our lives. Perhaps then we're on the wrong boat. If you would allow me, I would like to use the word boat to mean the same metaphorically as the word relationship. And perhaps then you can relate to the ship that you're in. Maybe this was your boat story. You got on the first thing smoking because it looked good. You didn't consult God about it. And now you're in a relationship with someone that you're unequally yoked to. And he's not only pulling you out of character, but he's pulling you away from the vision that God has for your life. Perhaps there are financial benefits to being in this relationship. But Philippians 1 and 21 says, What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Friend, you don't even see yourself the way you used to anymore. So how can you see the vision that God has for you? I believe you need to get out and get out now because you're in the wrong boat. Why settle for less than God's best? Well, I believe that anybody can relate to this ship. If you're in a relationship and it leaves you lonely, depressed, strung out, sprung, you know, uh, broke, busted, and disgusted, then you're in the wrong boat and you need to get out. And once you get out, that's not all you do. You get on board with Christ so that he can begin to straighten out the kinks in your life and move you to the next level. And, and that's really what this journey is all about, moving from the natural way to the spiritual way so that we can better connect to the vision that God has for his people and for our lives more specifically. I would like to share with you two stories out of the book of Matthew um, in which we see Jesus teaching his disciples to move from the natural boat to just getting on board with him and moving to the next level spiritually. In Matthew chapter 8, beginning at verse 22, um, we find that the disciples are in a boat and they're on a lake and suddenly a storm arises and it's a bad storm. Uh, some um, versions call it a tempest and the waves begin to blow over the boat. But Jesus is down in the bottom of the boat in a place called the stern. And guess what he's doing? He's sleeping peacefully on a pillow. Well, they begin to panic and they go down and they wake him up and they say, Master, we are afraid. And he says, um, they say, they say to him, carest thou not that we perish? And um, what he does is he says, peace be still. He speaks to the winds and the waves obey his will. And suddenly there's a calm upon the lake and they are saved. At this point, they don't have a true revelation of who Jesus is. Um, they don't know that if you're on board with the vision, 
If you're on board with Jesus, then you are saved. No, the boat wouldn't save them in that case. Had Jesus not been on it, it probably would have capsized. They probably would have all drowned. Uh, but there's a scripture that says, with a vision, without a vision, the people perish. But they had the vision on board with them. Uh, Jesus is God's vision for saving man. You know, um, if Jesus is on board with you, then you're in a safe place. They didn't know that, or they wouldn't have been afraid. Which brings us to the next scripture um, in this story. Jesus says, O ye of little faith. Um, in some versions, he says, where is your faith? You know, and I like that he ends, you know, his discussion with the disciples in this event um, on faith. Because he's moving them from a natural way of thinking that our boat uh, is about to be sunk to a spiritual way of thinking. If my faith is where it should be in Jesus, then I know that there's salvation because the boat can't save you, but Jesus can. The boat really can't get you, get you where you ultimately need to go, which is heaven, but Jesus can. So the most important relationship you need to have is one with Jesus. Um, it's a good thing that they were on board with Christ. Amen. Well, the next story is also from the book of Matthew um, in the 14th chapter, verses 22 through 33. And the synoptic gospel, they have the same story, you know, uh, worded differently, of course. But we find that Jesus is again with these same disciples and he's out teaching there with him. Okay. When Jesus gets done and, you know, everybody's ready to go, he tells the disciples to go ahead of him, you know, that he would catch up with them while he stays on shore and, you know, dismisses the crowd. Well, they get about a hundred yards out from the shore and they're in the boat and then a storm arises and I imagine they must have thought, oh no, we're in the same boat again. Here we go again. But this time Jesus is not on board with them. They're just in the boat by themselves and the waves begin to rise, you know, the Bible tells us. But Jesus begins walking on the water towards the boat and um, they see a shadowy figure just walking. And Peter, you know, can barely see because of the storm, but he says, Master, is that you? Um, and then Peter says, if it is you, call out to me to come to you. And Jesus calls to him. Peter, because of his faith, steps out of the boat and is walking on the water. He has gotten out of the boat. Because he realizes, I believe, inside of himself that Jesus is his salvation. Uh, he's already seen how Jesus saved him in another storm. And he knew that he would be safer with Jesus, I believe, than in that boat. And to me, that's when Peter really moved to the next level in his faith. And he is able to then do a faith walk, which is you know, what Jesus wants for us to develop our faith enough to get on board with him instead of, you know, staying in the boat because the boat can't save us. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life that no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Not by boat, but by me. It's a spiritual journey. Um... If you have not met Jesus and you know that you're in the wrong boat, headed in the wrong direction, and it's pulling you away from who God called you to be or God's best for you, then you need to get out of that boat right now and get on board with Christ. Repeat this prayer after me and let me lead him to you. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I repent of my sins. I make you my Lord and Savior. Friend, we believe if you have repeated this prayer that you are now born again. Become a member of a Bible teaching church. 
you are on your way to a faith walk. Amen. That's what you're doing. You're getting out of that boat so that you can connect with Christ and he can move you. Amen. To another level. He is our hope of glory. He has hope for you. Believe it. God bless.